Hey y'all, Sherry Lynn from Casa Grande, Arizona. Um, just trying to something more comfortable. This is a comfortable chair. I have an angel on my shoulder. <coughs> and over there is a painting from the White Mountains where we used to go camping and I would sit on the log over a stream and um, I, I, I believe I saw fairies, maybe they were angels because children uh, are so innocent, they see angels, amen. <laughs> How y'all today? <laughs> Allergies still not quite bad, sniffling a little bit. <laughs> and coughing, excuse me. I just, like I said, I still ain't used to this ocean air. You like my blouse? I went, I've been going through my clothes and giving some clothes to a good friend of mine and her daughter. I'm so happy to meet you, you two. Mm, the both of you, all three of you. Chloe and Jody <laughs> and Ryer. <laughs> I'm so blessed. You can have a, what is that song say? I don't know what it says. And the Lord's the Lord of them and their friends forever. And, uh, you know, I will strangle her if she uh, doesn't want to be my friend anymore. <laughs> we can tell each other anything and we still leave each other. Praise God, I love you, Lizzie. And thank you for your encouragement just to go ahead and say what I what I feel like saying. So, uh, I did, you know, these ushers have been rather rude to me at church. And um, I called the office. I wrote a poem about it called Wolves. <laughs> no, it was uh, Sunshine. It wasn't me. No, me. I'm sure it went. No, I just do what I'm told. And so Sunshine called the office and said something, and <coughs> we need to forgive 70 times 7. And where are you going to get hurt most? It says so many times. I had four scriptures. I mean, Sunshine, I think, had four scriptures about wolves. Uh, Bible Gateway, it already, but be careful. Just because someone's in a church or just some because someone has the word pastor or doctor before them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like my grandpa. I can call him that now because he can't hit me no more. <laughs> yeah, I found out his doctorate was gotten on mine. I think he paid for it. <laughs> and he uh, apparently had a girlfriend in every church that he pastored. Praise Jesus. My grandma was a saint. Anyways, I don't know why I'm saying this. This is dedicated to my grandma's, my grandma's, my grandma Betty, who I've never met, but I read one of your poems, and I'm going to find it, and I'm going to embarrass you and put it on YouTube. And my grandma Billy, who was my dad's mom, and grandma Billy, a couple generations before that on my dad's side, and uh, I guess uh, the women in the Stevens family were all poets. <laughs> Don't have anything. Oh, I wish I had brought a tissue. I forgot a tissue. It's just, I'm blonde. I can't help myself. I'm not getting old. I'm just blonde. Uh, Grandma Billy wrote um, all the girls in her name and her the family. I have to get this quick again. It's not want to watch this. All the sisters in her family had a boy's name and I can't remember for the life of me her real name but Grandma Billy. Really, okay, so this, I gotta get to this. It's called Cross My Heart and Hope to Die. <laughs> Do you want a secret? A way to be blessed, do what I did, and spend more time with my sweet Jesus. Amen. I dare you to give my sweet Jesus more time to him than you do to your favorite thing. Me? I turned off my TV. Well, mostly. Achoo! Achoo! 
I wake up, I listen to my praise and worship, my Jesus songs, singing along, but uh, only singing along as long as no one else is around. And sometimes I make my Elvis <laughs> sing along too, don't I, Elvis? <laughs> I know my singing is music to your ears, my sweet Jesus. Achoo! Honestly, I'd rather be just playing my flutes. And I'm going to start practicing. Amen. I'm stepping out in Jesus' name and going to audition for the church worship team next year. So pray for me. So, but honestly, I'd rather just play my flute. I've had enough embarrassment in my life. <laughs> People telling me, Elvis wants to talk about, can you hear him? People telling me they don't, they don't want to see me because I have way too much drama in my life. Excuse moi, like that's news to me. Okay, then I'm going back into my older writings and backing them up with scripture. Oh, a choop. Studying the context and memorizing the verses, even the addresses, just so you know I know the Bible. And the more time you spend with God, the more time you want to spend with Him. Some days I just can't get enough of my sweet Jesus. Is Jesus your friend? If he is, how can he be your best friend <coughs> if you don't know him by studying his word? The Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth. Glorify him uh, as we were made to do before the rocks cried out, because cry like I said, I must be a little, be a little freaked out. Whatever you're going through will still be there, but your heart will soar on wings like eagles. If you spend more time with my sweet Jesus, do you want to be blessed? Do you want to feel joy in the midst of your hurt and your pain, <laughs> your tears and your broken heart like I am today? Then worship him and as I do in the midst of this hurricane and heartache, your heart and mine too will shoot up into the sky cross my heart and hope to die amen <laughs> all right let's see how to uh yeah isaiah i love this scripture i've read this before 43 18 excuse me <coughs> isaiah 43 18 to 19 forget the former things do not dwell on the past See, I'm doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I'm making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Amen and amen. I'd love to just take one little scripture uh, a day if you can. You don't have to read. You know, people say if you a new Christian, even an older Christian like me, and try to read the Bible. Oh, excuse me. I should have brought a tissue over here. Those are real sniffles. <laughs> Anyways, what was he saying? If you try to read the, the Bible cover to cover, uh, uh, most people will exit an exodus. <laughs> so I recommend the daily Bible for, yeah, and uh, read it in your closet, not out for everyone to see. Don't pray over, you know, pray over. Yes, if you're in a restaurant, pray over your food, and and um, but just don't be a Sadducee, a Pharisee, or whatever. Alrighty, and uh, those people at church, you know who you are, and you lie to me again, and then you try to chase after me, and you hurt me again, uh, Jeff. I'm not saying your last name, but I'm saying your first name or the name. And I'm not saying the name of a church, but if I wasn't saved, you know, and didn't have Jesus in my heart, you have to be careful. You know what you say. There's, you have to be careful. What if I wasn't saved and that was the first time I was there? And that, you know, condemnation doesn't come from the Lord, but conviction does. And, you know, I try to treat everyone equally. Even the snobby, snobby, <laughs> the, like I do that 
people that need to sit in the front row to get on camera. Guess what? I got a camera. In the back of my head on my hands. <laughs> I'm not trying to get on camera, but I think it's funny. Anyways. Uh, okay, I'm going to stop. I need help. I need forgiveness. In Jesus' name. So God bless you. And please remember that Jesus loves you and crazy me sad me too <laughs> I love you Lar kisses I love you Lizzie kisses love you Jody kisses love you Lar kisses <laughs> see you later alligator